Hey guys, it's Keezy here today, and today we're going to be doing a restyle and review of Laguna Blue. Look at that, that rhymed. <laughs> So I couldn't start today's video without acknowledging thank you so much for all the love that I received on my last Monster High review. Um, I was totally unexpected and yeah, I'm honestly still kind of shook by it, but yeah. So if you're new here, um, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Of course, if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Um, so yeah, again, thank you guys so much. We reached 200 subscribers and I know a lot of people might be like, oh, that's a small amount. <laughs> But yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for just being here, watching the video. Um, I do put a lot of hard work into these videos, so I hope that you guys see that, and I hope that you guys stick around. But again, thank you so much for 200 subscribers, and yeah, next is 500, right? <laughs> Okay, and as we always do when we're starting out is I'm going to be unboxing the doll. I do everything from the back just because for me, it's the safest way to get the doll out without cutting her hair or clothes or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing now is tearing everything out from the back. We're freeing her from her um, cardboard prison. <laughs> Okay, so the first item we're gonna start out with is her bathing suit. I really love this addition to her outfit. I think it's super cute. It has some black and blue scales on it with some orange trim and some orange straps. It's a really cute bathing suit and I mean, of course it fits her theme because she is a fish, so it works out. And next we're gonna look at Laguna's backpack. It is a shell with some pink drips hanging down from it. I'm not gonna ask what's dripping from the shell, um, but it has some teal straps on it and a teal handle, and you can fit all of her little accessories inside. And speaking of accessories, she comes with some kelp crisps, kelp crisps, <laughs> and it's this cute little yellow bag and it's super detailed. Additionally, she comes with a little box of what looks like goldfish. It has a little cute um, cartoon on it with her OG Neptuna on it. And of course, she comes with a water bottle because what fish doesn't need water? <laughs> and the bottle does open, which is a nice detail. Moving on to Laguna's pet, Neptuna. This is a cute little pink fish. Um, it's molded really, really well. I think, again, it's one of the cutest pets that they've made so far. I really love her, she's cute. Included in Laguna's accessories, she comes with these blue sunglasses that have some molded on scales and fins on the ear cuff. I'm gonna assume that's what those are called, ear cuffs, but they're just clear and really cute with her outfit. Moving on to the outfit she's dressed in in the box, she comes with these pink and blue sandals. They have molded on fins, I believe, on the side here, and they say monster up the front. They kind of remi remind me of like a Nike shoe. They also have a little shell um, molded on the front of them as well. Laguna also comes with this fanny pack that has a, a bite taken out of it. Um, it's hollow in the back, which I hate accessories that are hollow in, hollow in the back, but it is um, a cute little piece. It does have some teeth marks on the front to give you that really monster vibe. 
For earrings, Laguna has one little blue pearl looking um, earring. And on the other side, she has a little fish bone, which is, I don't know, kind of uh, grim. But <laughs> um, for a necklace, she has this white puka shell necklace. Those were super, super popular in like the early 2000s when I was in middle school. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aging myself, I guess. For Laguna's top, she has this hoodie that is a combination of different fabrics. It has some pink mesh sleeves with some black cuffing and some black stripes on the side. For the hoodie, it has some printed on scales and also some fabric that is gathered together to look like fins. On the front of the hoodie, she has this seahorse skeleton with a couple of bubbles. I think it's really, really cute. I do think this item is a really good quality and I also think it goes really well with that sporty vibe they were giving her. Laguna also comes with some biker shorts that are tie-dyed and on the sides they have some fabric that is blue and that's gathered together again to look like fins. I think this is a really cute piece as well and I love the tie-dye effect. And as an added bonus, Laguna also comes with some hair accessories. She has two white clips that kind of look like pearls and a black scrunchie that looks like sea urchins. And now that we've looked at what she comes with, on to the restyle. Okay, so we're gonna start out today's restyle as we always do. We're gonna wash her hair. Um, so Laguna does have saran hair, and I like to wash saran hair a little bit differently, so I use Dawn soap in saran hair. Um, I think it makes it the shiniest. I think it's the best way to get any product out of it. Um, by the way, Laguna did not have any product in her hair. I'm just washing her hair as, you know, like a sanitary thing. I, I just have a habit of washing all my dolls. So, um, but yes, I'm gonna start out by washing her hair. And once I think I've washed her thoroughly enough, I'm gonna rinse out all of the soap. Laguna is rooted with the middle part, so if you did wanna keep her hair down, you absolutely could. Next thing I'm going to do is condition her hair with the Miracle Moist by Aussie Conditioner. I do use a different conditioner when I'm working with nylon or any other grade of hair. Um, I usually use the Sleek and Shine conditioner, but that's a little bit too heavy for Saran and it kind of makes the hair oily. I love this conditioner for my Saran girls, but it's honestly kind of rare that we get Saran these days to be honest, but what I'm gonna do is comb that conditioner throughout her hair using different size combs just to make sure that all of the strands are um, coated. And the next step in the process is to boil wash her hair. So I'm pretty sure you saw in the earlier clips or if you've seen any pictures of her, her hair is actually super, super poofy. And a boil wash is really what is going to smooth out her hair. Even though we'll be giving her waves today, um, I still want the waves to be as smooth as possible. So I always like to start all of my Saran girls out with a boil wash. It'll never hurt the hair, it can only help. <laughs> So my little boil wash tip is to add a little bit of fabric softener and a little bit of conditioner to mix in with the boiling water. I think it just makes it easier while you're combing the hair during the boil wash process. I mean basically saran is a type of fabric so the fabric softener is going to soften the hair and the conditioner is going to provide you that slip while you're combing through the hair. 
So I'm just gonna dunk Laguna in the water a couple of times. She should really enjoy this seeing that she is a fish, you know, she needs the water. But um, <laughs> I'm just gonna dunk her hair in a couple of times. And the way I like to boil wash my doll's hair is I dunk it in a couple of times, comb out the hair to make sure that it's straightening it out and smoothing it out. Then what I'm gonna do is leave her in the water until it goes cold. And that will be all for the boil wash. As you can see, when you first dunk the doll in the boiling water, the saran kind of wants to ball up a little bit. So it is a little rough the first top couple times that you come through it, but it eventually will smooth out. And once there's no more heat left in the water, I will rinse out her hair because I don't want any of that leftover fabric softener or conditioner to be left in her hair. It could make the saran greasy and we don't want that. We want it to be nice, silky, and flowy. Okay, so this may seem a little bit extra, but I do condition the doll's hair one more time after the boil wash just to make sure that there's no more tangles left in the hair. I do let it sit as always. I don't let it sit very long though because Saran doesn't really retain the conditioner the same way like nylon does. Okay, and of course I rinse her hair after that. Um, I didn't want to show that on camera because y'all saw me rinse her hair like a hundred times. Um, but I also off camera recreated her ponytail. I just took the two tendrils that were in the front and pulled them to the back. I kind of show you the construction of the ponytail here in just a second. But it's just like the OG like Bratz ponytails that they used to do back in the day. And now we're going to move on to curling her hair. Okay, and to curl Laguna's hair today, we're going to be using straws. I absolutely do not use a curling iron on my saran haired girls. Um, you can use a curling iron, or iron on a really low setting, but it doesn't work as well and it doesn't look as good in my opinion. So what I do, of course, is section the hair. So I'm going to split the hair into two sections, which is the top portion and the bottom portion. I always like to, you know, curl or do anything, any style with my dolls in layers because it just looks the best. And then I'm gonna secure away that top section so it stays out of the way. Um, then what I'll do is spray her hair with some water and the water is just gonna help keep everything nice, neat and smooth while you're wrapping the hair around the straw. The best way I can describe the motion that you want to do when you want to create a beachy wave is to wrap the hair around the straw and also twist it as you're wrapping. That's going to give you the best result. And then once the hair is wrapped around the straw, I like to cover it with that slice straw just to make sure that the hair stays on very securely. And to double secure it, I like to put a bobby pin at the top and the bottom of the straw. And here's another real-time demonstration about how I wrap the hair around the straw. Again, I wrap and twist at the exact same time just to create that nice beachy wave that kind of looks like a spiral. Um, I love, love, love this look on my dolls. Um, this is probably one of my favorite curls to create and you'll see why um, in just a second.
This is what the bottom section looks like all curled up. So I know I said this in my last video, but Mattel has really, really been killing it with this Monster High re-release. Like, I love these dolls. Laguna is definitely one of my favorites from this original, like, G3 uh, re-release type of thing. Um, I really love the ponytail. I love the colors that they used for her. Um, her hair is giving a little Mardi Gras. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but that's how I feel about it. <laughs> but yes, I cannot wait for the, uh, I believe it's the Skultimate um, Secrets line or something like that. Oh, hopefully I'm not butchering that name, but I cannot wait for that line. Um, unfortunately, I won't be getting the Sleepover Dolls. I kind of have to decide what I what it is like I really, really want from Monster High um, because I do collect so many other doll lines. I can't collect everything. <laughs> But that new line that they just leaked out, again, the Sculptimate Secrets, I want to say, with the lockers, I think I love every single doll from that line, and I cannot wait to do restyles on them. Uh, I think they said that the, they may be coming out late this year or early next year, but I literally can't wait for that line. I think the fashions on that line are just top tier. I love when... Um, like different brands they give us you know options to restyle which if you guys want to see some more fashion restyles on my uh channel i might start adding that to the videos <laughs> um because yeah i also love you know styling my dolls as well you know not just their hair also the fashion but yes cannot wait for that line to come out i'm super excited about it um i want to hear you guys' thoughts about that that leak because yeah those dolls look amazing I don't know who it is that they have on the new team for Monster High, but they really, really are like thinking of different trends. Like these Monster High dolls are way more trendy than Barbie is like has been in a long time. So I'm really glad and I'm really happy that they came together, whatever team they have um, working on these dolls, because they are literally knocking it out of the park. So I'm excited to see what comes next. And I hope you guys are as well, because I'll definitely be doing videos on them. Controlling all of my thoughts, I want you on my body Turning me on, baby, you know you got me Got me tripping over all of these lines, I can't fight Okay, and this is what Laguna looks like with all her straws in her head. Um, I'm sure her head is just so heavy. I'm, I'm so sorry, Laguna. <laughs> All right, and we are back in the bathroom. We are going to do a, another boil wash. With Saran, you have to boil the hair in order to set the curls. The heat is what is going to um, set the curl in the hair and make it stay. And yes, I have done this on a lot of my dolls. And what I'll do is I will dunk the head in and actually leave her there for five minutes. Look, you could read me like a story. Controlling all of my thoughts, I want you on my body Turning me on, baby, you know you got me Got me tripping over all of these after we've let Laguna sit in the boiling water for five minutes, we also alternatively need to let her sit in some ice water for the exact same amount of time to cool down the curls. Touch me like that. Stick around. Swim when we're together, heavens on the ground. I know this forever looking at you now. I can't get enough. I don't know how you did it. Boy, you got me spinning. 
right, so after the five minutes is up, what I do is I actually immediately remove the straws from her hair. I've never personally had an issue doing this, even though some people do it a little bit differently. Like they like to let the hair dry in the straw, but that takes too long for me. I'm, I'm way too impatient. <laughs> so uh, if you've done it correctly, as you can see, the hair will still maintain the curl without letting it dry. And then what I'll do is take a t-shirt and scrunch the hair to get the excess water out. Touch me like and this is what Laguna looks like immediately after the curlers uh, being taken out of her hair. The hair will drop a little bit because, you know, gravity. And while the hair is still damp, I'm going to take my bedhead curling cream and I'm going to run it through each of the sections of hair. If you haven't noticed by now, I love this curl cream. It literally works on all doll hair types. And once I've ran it through the hair, I'm also going to separate each section into maybe two or three strands just so I don't have some big chunky curls, which again, if you like that, you can absolutely lose, leave them that way. Um, but this method works so well. I actually have a Bratz uh, Megan doll that I did this process on and her hair stayed nice, curly and wavy for literally like years. So this process really, really works. And once I've separated all the hair, I'm going to leave her for a couple of hours to dry and then we'll look at the final result. All right, guys, and here is the final result. That's all I got for you today. <laughs> I really love the way these waves turned out on Laguna. I feel like I say that every time. I always say, oh, I love this. You know, of course, I'm the person who did it. But <laughs> yes, I love these kind of beachy spiral waves that I gave Laguna. Um, I know today's video was really long. I had a lot of different steps to the process, but I have promised you if you try it out on your doll, it'll definitely be worth it. And like I said, this style literally lasts like forever like literally forever <laughs> so yes um, that's actually all I have to say you guys again like I said I love the way her hair turned out I love a good Ariana Grande ponytail but again, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. Also like this video and of course subscribe if you feel like doing so. But yes, I will see you guys later this week for my Eliza McPhee costume ball restyle. And yeah, I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Baby, come with me.